Hi guys, welcome back to Will the Beard Reviews. Today we're going to talk about Catwoman issue 11, written by Joel Jones with art by Fernando Blanco, and uh, also this issue joined by Hugo Petrus. Now, uh, I'm a huge Catwoman fan. I love the character, but this series is just not doing it for me. So, we will talk about this issue, but I want to kind of talk about the Catwoman series at large a little bit before we get into that um as i was talking with a commenter here on the channel uh, by the name of lena moody and thank you lena if you're watching this we've had some fantastic back and forths on the review for issue 10 and on a one or two other videos so thank you for that and just kind of voicing and talking about our discontent with this current series maybe disappointment is, is a better word it's just it's not hasn't been a great series and it feels like it, it was just like after Batman issue 50, where it was supposed to be the wedding issue and uh, Catwoman left Batman at the altar and she ran off and started to do her own thing. I think it was actually about a year ago. Yeah, because this is issue 11, so it was 11 months ago since this is a, a monthly book. Since then, I at least cannot remember her, her being Catwoman dealing with... The fact that she did leave Bruce at the altar, the love of her life, she walked away the day that they were supposed to get married. That's a huge, traumatic, milestone emotional event in anyone's life. And I know that these are fantastical characters. They're comic book characters, so they don't normally, con they don't, they shouldn't necessarily conform to normal standards. But if it's a real, well-written character, they would. And since the beginning of the series... Um, and I va only vaguely remember the very beginning of this series. I don't really think it's been touched on. It's just been Catwoman getting dragged into her own adventures off in this city named Via Hermosa, and just kind of doing her Catwoman thing. But I don't see any any grieving process. I don't see her, you know, questioning why she left Batman at the altar, uh, wanting thinking about going back. You know, anything like that. You know, normal human emotions and over on the Batman side if you've been reading Batman he's been just tearing himself up over that thing that happened in Batman issue 50 for the three issues after that after issue 50 so 51 through 53 he there was a story arc where Batman was serving or I'm sorry Bruce Wayne was serving on a jury there in Gotham City and he was it was for a case about Mr. Freeze where Batman brought Mr. Freeze in and through that case he tried to hold a mirror up to himself and say hey as Batman did I go too far was I emotionally compromised and I brought in Mr. Freeze when I shouldn't and then we've seen that elsewhere where he is struggling to figure out why Selina left him at the altar in this story arc or the uh, the story arc nightmares where he's having hallucinations and nightmares in his head it touches on it multiple times and he's trying to figure it out and he can't but I'm not getting any of that in Catwoman and I love Batman I love Catwoman I love the current Batman series and how he's trying to process that trauma and process that emotion and it would be just amazing if we had these parallel stories where Batman is dealing with it and Catwoman is dealing with it and they eventually come back together. Now obviously we don't know where this is going to end up but I feel like that would be such a, a much more powerful story arc where we can see both perspectives him questioning why and her kind of maybe trying to figure out why and then they come back together. Now I understand that there's been some machinations by Bane who has been manipulating Batman in that title and that might be why uh, we've, it, I think it's been hinted at that that's why Selina left Batman uh, to begin with. We've also seen characters like Psycho Pirate over there. So maybe she's being emotionally manipulated. But if that's the case, then this series is better served with teasing some of that out in here. Maybe she's starting to figure out that that's what happened. Something. Just give us something rather than just, oh, Catwoman left him. She's, you know, a cold-hearted bitch. Now she's over here doing her own thing and isn't giving any of this, um, uh, you know, incredible relationship, incredible romance that she built with the Batman uh, a second thought. She's just, oh, I'm doing my own thing now. It feels weak. Come on. And so we are going to get into this. I know I've been rambling for almost five minutes now. Um, we are going to get into issue 11, but I want to wanted to say all that to give context because 
I did not like this issue. I haven't, like I said, I've been disappointed with this for a while, and I think this title has lost me, and I'll, I'll liken this to a movie. When a movie loses you, or a TV show loses you, you start to nitpick, right? If, if there's a plot hole, or there's a special effect, or uh, an editing, something that doesn't go right, if you're super into the movie, you can forgive it. Like I, I saw Endgame opening night, there's, there's some plot holes in it. And I was so invested in it that I just don't, I flat don't give a shit, right? That there's some plot holes. I will overlook them because it's amazing. But if something is not amazing, if something is in fact disappointing, and there are plot holes and there are things you don't like, you start to nitpick. And that is what I found myself doing with this issue when I sat down to read it this evening. I start to pick it apart, and that's how I know that this series has lost me. So we're going to go through with it, uh, go through the comic Maybe quickly, I don't know, but I'm, I'm probably going to be pretty rough on it because there's some things I'm just like, oh, I start to nitpick. And, you know, like I said, because this this series has has lost me. Um, so let's go through it. I've been rambling for six minutes. So it opens at like a, uh, a movie premiere with all the stars on the red carpet and like the entertainment media people asking questions. And then we flash back to Catwoman, who is on a motorcycle chasing an armored car because her friend Carlos is uh, stuck inside it after a failed heist last issue. I didn't even remember that picking up this issue, so that tells you something else about the series. It's not memorable uh, month to month. That's not good. And so uh, she's chasing it and talking to him while it's intercut with stuff from uh, the, uh, the movie Red Carpet here. Um, she comes across a, a car carrier truck, um, and this was actually, you know, the action is pretty cool, even though I'm struggling to care about it. Um, she knocks the ramp down, jumps over, uh, jumps off the bike and lands on top of the armored car. That's a cool action scene. Um, shatters the windshield, goes inside, beats up the, uh, the drivers, and then she comes across, and this is a decent page here, comes across the um, the red carpet and crashes the the car into some police cars that were there blocking traffic for the event. Um, all of that's fine, and then she you know gets uh, gets into the banner, uses her claws to kind of work her way down, and then this is where it starts to fall apart for me. This huge cool action scene comes to a screeching halt with these Creel characters in the back of a limo talking. It's like, no, you like you brought the action to a screeching halt. Like, oh, big action stuff. Oh, let's slow down and talk, right? Mmm, I don't like it. Um, and she's basically telling her other son to uh, reestablish the connections that her husband, her late husband, had um, now that he's working for a re-election. And it's, um, who are the um, uh, connections with local law enforcement? local law enforcement connections in air quotes and then she basically threatens him to say hey you're going to do this or i'm basically going to kill you um then he gets out of the out of the van or out of the limo and then someone else gets in and it's it uh, kind of zeroes in on his face or her face whoever that is but we don't find out who that character is um and then we go back to the action um actually let me flip back right here no, it is nice. Sorry, I thought there was a continuity error. Then we go back to the action, um, like we had never left. Uh, Wonder, Wo or Wonder Woman, Catwoman, Jesus, I'm sorry, um, gets her friend out of the armored car, and they make their way through the crowd, and, you know, this is where I start to nitpick the Entertainment Tonight uh, person. Where am I? You know, she knocks her over. Um, she pulls this woman's hair and knocks her down and a shoe flies off and hits a cop in the face and her friend questions her on and she says what was the point of that and she says something just for me like why i like i don't get it like i it's ugh. i'm starting to nitpick and i don't like it um then they jump onto a statue the statue you know this giant statue falls down then they get in a police car and drive away and then we have this uh, dirty cop who's working with the Creels go to a um, a pawn shop there in their city. There's an old woman sweeping, and um, she it's closed. He walks in. She says, I'm sorry, but we're closed. And he looks very threatening, and she looks very afraid. And then there's a uh, threatening shadow. And then, to be continued. Like, this didn't really push the... Like, it moved the, 
story forward, but in a very uninteresting way. Um, and then we get a preview for some Batman comic. Um, I'm going to keep buying Catwoman because I love Catwoman and I want to collect Catwoman. But the series has lost me. Um, that's really all I have to say about it. I had, I had a lot to say at the beginning of this, so let me know what you guys are thinking. Um, do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, if I'm missing something in this book, let me know that as well, and we can have a decent conversation about it. And I, maybe I'll post a review or a, uh, a video about those conversations. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm um, sorry this wasn't the normal, happy, bubbly, positive reviews that I normally post because I don't like to read comics that I don't like, so I only read the things that I do like. Um, so thank you for watching. If this is your first time here at the channel, this was probably not a great first video to watch, uh, but subscribe anyway. We have a lot of fun here on the channel. Talk a lot of fun, nerdy stuff. Uh, hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. And until next time, we'll see you at the comic shop.